All right, so a quick note on this before we get started. There's gonna be two different types of hammers, one for 229s and one for everything else. So make sure you specify when you order one to get one for the 229 or whatever else you have, the 226, 220, whatever it may be, because the 229s have a different hammer. The coupon code, if you wanna get one and haven't already, hammer5sao, I'll put that in the description below. And let's get started. Today I just wanted to show everybody how I put in the new Armory Craft skeletonized trigger. I tried to do this video twice before and didn't get the angles I like to make it as easy as I can to show you what's going on. So even though it's on there, the install would be the same as when I took the original hammer off. You just take one off and put one on. And I'm starting out with this field stripped and with the grips off. So if you have problems with that or don't know how, I wouldn't even suggest you try to do the hammer. But for those of you so inclined, this is how I did it. We'll go ahead and start by taking the hammer strut, hammer spring, and hammer spring seat off. Just go ahead and push something into the little slot on the bottom. Push it back, make sure the hammer's down so that it takes as much tension off as possible. Let's push it out, bend back, and you'll get that to come off. And then you can just pull this out the bottom. Of course, it's stuck. Uh, the safety. So make sure your safety's up to get the hammer strut out. It's never happened to me before, but I've never, I guess I had the safety down. We'll go ahead and take the spring out. Just give it a little twist. And then the trigger bar spring will come out. And then you're gonna want to go ahead and take the tension off of the sear spring which is the spring you'll see right inside there. I swear by these cuticle trimmers, you can just get it on the spring and pop it out. So now there is no tension on anything inside the frame itself. We'll go ahead and take the safety off. Grab my handy dandy Allen wrenches and just unscrew the screw that you see holding the safety on. Pull the screw out, pull the spring off, and then pull the safeties off. They'll just slide right out. Then we're almost there. Then you're going to go, and going to go ahead and get a punch. And then with that punch, you can push out the sear pin, which holds the sear spring, the sear, the safety lever, and the ejector. Go ahead and push that out. And then all those will fall out. You'll have the ejector, the safety lever, sear spring, and sear. And then we'll go ahead and push out the hammer pin and that'll allow us to pull the hammer out. So now that we got all that done, it's time to put everything back together. So we'll start off by putting the new hammer in. You'll see inside the frame down here, right in front of my finger, I don't know if it'll show, there is a little spring, and that is your hammer spring. You're gonna wanna get the little silver bar that's in the back of the hammer underneath so you'll push it in down and then back and that will get your hammer underneath that hammer spring and then we'll go ahead and put the hammer pin back in to hold the hammer in place now this is probably going to be the trickiest part we got to put the safety lever back in the sear the ejector and the sear spring it's easiest if you put this in first, this is the safety lever. It's gonna go in and sit like this. So you'll see that with the sear, the sear pin hole, it's gonna be sitting like that, right there, in that position, with the little leg facing down. 
and that will sit in between the hammer and the frame. You'll see a little spot that's cut out for it. So we'll just slide that. It's easier if you do it sideways so it can just rest on the frame and line that up with the sear pinhole. And then when you get your safety lever in, you just want, you want to make sure that it's not sticking up that way. You want it more pointed towards the front so it's just barely forward of the slide rail. And we'll try to get this sear in without disturbing it. Just slide the sear in with your tweezers. And then I go ahead and run my punch through it to make sure I got them in the right spot. Then I will go ahead and put the ejector in. That's going to go in like this on top of the sear and the hammer this way. This little cutout right there in the bottom is going to rest on the hammer pin itself. So that's pretty straightforward. And then you can just run your punch all the way through and you'll have your safety lever that's sitting below the rail, your sear, and your ejector. And I gotta very carefully pull the punch out and then just throw the sear spring in there. It doesn't matter which way it goes, just so that the two legs are out. And we'll put the punch back in so that everything is all lined up there. You'll see the ejector, the sear, the sear spring, and the little safety lever right there. Pull the punch out and then just very carefully put the sear spring in, the sear pin in. And then just make sure that the pin is in the frame so that it's equal distance on both sides. You can see the equal amount of space on either side of the frame rails. And then make sure the hammer pin is sticking out a little bit on this side so that the trigger bar will ride on that. And then let's see if I can zoom in on this and get the light. You'll see this little corner right here that's moving, that's the safety lever. You want to make sure that it is in front and the trigger bar goes over top of it like that. Because if it's in the back, it won't function correctly and it might not even work, I wouldn't even try it. So make sure that it's forward and the trigger bar goes on top of it. And then go ahead and put your trigger bar spring back on. You'll put the long leg towards the bottom and then the shorter leg will go into the hammer bar, the, the trigger bar itself. Usually this is easy until I'm doing it on the camera. Alright, so then you'll get your trigger bar in there. And now it's pretty easy, just the safety and the hammer strut. So we'll go ahead and put the safety in. Again, make sure that the safety lever, this block where it screws into, is gonna go in that gap inside the trigger bar. And that's what actuates the safety is when it slides up and locks the trigger bar versus being down and out of the way. I'll go ahead and put this side on. And make sure they're both in the up position so you can line everything up. And then just drop the hammer, the safety spring be nice if I could learn how to talk one day. And then line that up with the hole. And we'll go ahead and put the screw in. Make sure they're lined up by looking inside. And tighten it up. And once that's tight, we just got to put the hammer strap back in. So just put it. the safety down, make sure the trigger's forward. It's okay if you pull the trigger on it because right now there's no hammer spring in it so there's not going to be any force snapping it forward. You just want to make sure that it's floppy in the up position so that you can put this spring in without it being compressed. We'll just go down the middle 
Make sure the safety's up. You can get in there and push it in and back towards the hammer. Go ahead and grab your strut base. Push it on. And I forgot to put your sear spring in. So make sure that your sear spring goes underneath that little post. We're going to put the sear spring underneath this little post right there. Now you'll see why this is so handy. So now that we got the sear spring uh, compressed inside underneath that little ledge, See the hammer stays back. I'm going to put my finger in front of it so it doesn't fall too hard. Test the trigger. It falls, cocks and falls. Safety works. We'll go ahead and put it back together and follow up. All right, so here it is, all installed. Awesome looking new skeletonized hammer. Took about 90%, 95% of the creep out. It's practically non-existent now. I would say this is as close to a 1911 trigger as you're going to get. The trigger is absolutely phenomenal. And then with the AC skeletonized trigger, I just absolutely love it. If you want to get this and haven't got it already, the coupon code HAMMER5SAO, all in caps. And I'll put that below in the description. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me an email or find me on Instagram. I'm happy to help out. Have a good one, guys, and thanks for stopping by. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them below in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking that little circle that pops up there. And remember, if you're looking for a new pet or animal, please adopt. There's thousands of animals looking for a new home, and that home could be with you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.